I don't often tend to do serious videos on my channel, um, but sometimes I feel like some things need to be said. My reign has just begun. Hey guys, George Alexander here, and today we are talking about something that happened yesterday um, on UK TV, which I thought was pretty awful um, and disgusting. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday on Loose Women there was an interview with Kim Woodburn where she came on to talk about the issues that she'd faced and the, not enemies, but you know, the trouble she'd had with Colleen Nolan while on the show. For those of you that are unaware and might not live in the UK, there is a show called Celebrity Big Brother where a group of celebrities live in a house for a long time um, and sort of, I mean, I quite, I assume a lot of countries do have Big Brother. It's just a celebrity version of that basically where they vote each other off. And the series that these two um, people were in, Kim Woodburn and Colleen Nolan, was quite an explosive series. There were lots of arguments, lots of tension. It was a lot. And Kim was basically ganged up on in the house by a larger group of people and she kind of lost her temper a lot and was quite angry um, because of the way that she felt she'd been treated. Colleen Nolan won Celebrity Brother which to me baffles me to this day that she won that show because all she did was sit there and, and smoke cigarettes. But yesterday Kim Woodburn went on to the panel show Loose Women which is sort of like The View in the UK but worse to basically try and discuss what had happened and why they hadn't really spoken to each other since they'd left the house which was over 18 months ago colleen said that basically she wanted kim to come on so that she could apologize or bury the hatchet for what had happened during the show this interview then turned out to basically be a an attack on a 77 year old woman by a group of other women. A show that is supposedly a show about women being strong and together and you know it's all about women and how they can all come together and it's and, and you know it's supposed to be great. It shows a real dark side. Now Kim had been on the show before and she discussed that she, how she'd had a bit of a rough, you know, a very rough childhood in the sense that she'd been abused by her father. And basically it hadn't been a very good time for her and this had left her with mental scars. During this interview, Kim gets very enraged about being in the same room as Colleen and saying that, you know, she doesn't want to bury the hatchet. She just wants, she was quite happy to get on with her life and all these things. And Kim always tries to make a little joke out of it because they say, well, why did you come here? And she says, well, it's for the money, darling. And it's great because she's, you know, she's got that fun personality where she's just like, I'm going to say it how it is. I actually interviewed Kim on my channel um, after she'd come out of the house and I can say that she's one of the nicest people I've ever met. She's lovely, she's funny, she's hilarious and she's honest. But she's not brutal. I think what happened with Big Brother is that she came across a lot worse because it's a confined environment. You know, everything is times 10. So all of everything you're thinking of, everything you're doing is exacerbated by the fact you are in this confined space. Anyway, back to this interview that we're talking about. They go on to talk about how, you know, Kim says how things aren't always shown, how she was she felt she was bullied and attacked by a larger group of people in the house. Colleen goes on to say that she was the one who was attacking her and blah, blah, blah. And it just gets a little bit crazy at times. But my major issue is that basically this interview was awful in the sense that this lady, this 77-year-old woman, Kim, obviously has mental scars, as she'd stated from her past. You know, there is there is some form of mental illness there. And during her speech, when she's, she gets a little bit emotional and she starts to talk about what happened when she was a childhood and sort of the reasons that she gets so angry and irate and... Colleen and her sister start to mock her and say things like, oh, here she goes, she's going to cry in a minute. Basically start to laugh and take basically the piss out of Kim 
when she's trying to discuss these issues she's faced. For example, Linda says, oh, she's she's about to cry now. Um, sorry, no, Colleen says she's about to cry now, and Linda says, oh, yes, we've heard this all before. At what point was it okay, was it ever okay, to laugh or mock someone with mental illness? As Kim is basically telling her story about how the abuse that she'd felt and how that's left the mark on her, these women, these women that are supposed to be united and talking about great things and the strength of women and things like that, decide to knock down this basically elderly lady who's come on to to just talk and like sort of, you know, have this interaction. I find it bizarre and crazy that these two women, especially Colleen Nolan and Linda Nolan, thought it was okay to laugh and lean. There's a point where Linda's leaning on her sister, like, pretending to be asleep while, you know, she, while Kim's discussing this. And basically, Kim is ganged up on by, what, four other women. And I think Colleen thought that this was going her way and that everyone would see the type of person that she thinks Kim is. And we all know that, you know, Kim is no angel. She's a lovely woman, but, you know, none of us are like that. But none of us deserve to be on live TV and persecuted and victimised by a gang of people and laughed at for, you know, the, the, the way that their minds work. It's, it's, it's damn right awful and disgusting. And I felt the need to make this video today because I don't think that mental illness is something to be laughed at or mocked at, especially on national television. Because what does that, what does that show to other people? that it's okay to laugh at people with issues. You know, Linda Nolan, the, the sister, had cancer. We wouldn't go on TV and laugh at her for having cancer because it's an awful thing. So why would you then in turn laugh at someone with a mental illness? To me, I don't understand it. I don't get it. And so I posted a tweet and I tweeted saying uh, with the interview I did with Kim saying how wonderful she was and how great she was and how funny she was and said how this was basically, you know, the real Kim when she wasn't around vindictive people. Colleen Nolan then blocked me on Twitter. So <laughs> I don't know why because I didn't really attack her. I just said that what they did was vile and I think that's true. That's not really an attack to me. That's a truthfulness. So I don't know if Colleen's going to see this but if she is Colleen I just felt the way that you went around that was wrong and personally I found it disgusting that you could laugh at someone with a mental illness. Personally. I'm not here to attack you, and this isn't an attack video. This is a video to open people's eyes to kind of say, yeah, you're right, laughing at mental illness is wrong. You know, if you're, or people make mistakes all the time. So, really, there needs to be some form of apology here. And so that maybe, you know, you that Colleen can learn from and that the, the TV can learn from that this isn't right. Because it's not, it's awful. I think we just need to remember that mental illness is nothing to be laughed at, snided at or anything because that's how this stigma of mental illness keeps us with those people are weird, awful, wow, we can laugh at them sort of thing. And this is this is 2018, we don't need that. We've come so far that now it's okay. No, it's not. This needs to change and it needs to change now. And I'm not going to say a YouTube video from a 22 year old in his bedroom is going to change that. But if 10 people listen and think, do you know what, that's right, then that's all it takes. So, okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can like, share, comment, subscribe. Be happy in your own skin. Don't be cruel. Just be the best human being you can be. Have a great day. And yeah, until next time. See ya.